Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating a laser cut award from acrylic and walnut wood, and then engraving that award onto both materials in the same job. In this deep dive tutorial, we'll create a stunning custom award using this mock-up design. Materials needed for this project are 3 8 or 10 mm thick clear cast acrylic, 3M 467MP double-sided adhesive tape, and 3 16 or 5mm thick solid walnut wood. Scan the QR codes in the video to order these materials. I will break down the design into three separate files for cutting and engraving. The walnut wood cut file, the acrylic cut file, and the award engraving design file. To start the project, add the double-sided adhesive tape to one side of the sheet of walnut wood. Then squeegee it down and trim off any excess tape. Place that sheet into the laser with the adhesive face down onto the laser cutting grid. Now focus on the surface of the wood using the sonar autofocus or with your manual focus tool. Close the laser lid, open the Ruby software and import the walnut cut file into Ruby. Select and move the 5mm walnut cut file into the Ruby prepare screen. Place the file over the walnut wood using the vision design and position overhead camera shown here or use the red dot pointer if you do not have the camera. Select the 5mm walnut wood parameter from the materials database, then push the file to the laser. Start the laser and cut the 5mm walnut wood with the adhesive backing. Once finished, open the laser, remove the cut parts, and set them aside. Now to cut the 10mm acrylic sheet using my wet paper towel laser hack. Scan the QR code for this laser hack video. Place pin table blocks onto the cutting grid using my pin table laser hack. Scan the QR code for this laser hack video. Then place the acrylic over the wet paper towels onto the acrylic pins and focus the laser onto the acrylic surface. Close the laser lid and open up the Ruby software. Then open the 10mm acrylic cut file into the Ruby prepare screen. Place the file over the acrylic into the laser machine using the vision design and position overhead camera shown here. Rotate the design to fit the material in the laser system. Select the acrylic Glass clear 10mm parameter setting in the materials database and push that cut file to the laser. Push start on the laser and cut the acrylic. The two laser hacks used on this cut are designed to keep the acrylic from flaring using the wet paper towels and eliminate any chance for reflection tick marks from showing on the acrylic by elevating it above the metal cutting grid. Once cut out, remove cut acrylic from the laser. Now that the parts for this award are cut, it's time to assemble. First, remove the protective film from the acrylic using gloves to avoid fingerprints. Now peel the double-sided adhesive sheeting from the back of the walnut wood, then stick it down to the acrylic. Repeat this process for all four walnut pieces, ensuring they are aligned perfectly to the acrylic edge. Once finished, the award can now stand independently as the combined thickness is now 0.79 inches or 20 millimeters. Now to engrave the assembled award. Place the award onto the laser and focus onto the wood surface with the sonar autofocus or the manual focus tool. I will now create a custom parameter for this award using the preset parameters for walnut wood and acrylic, but combining them together using two colors, black for the walnut wood and blue for the acrylic. To do this, first open Ruby, select the main menu, select materials, and add a new material. Name that material. In this example, I will name it acrylic and walnut wood award. Delete the default black color. Add effect to material. In this example, I want to name the effect acrylic. Then add another effect and name it walnut. 
select the black on the walnut setting and put in the settings from testing or by reviewing the standard database setting for walnut. In this example, I want the engraving very deep, so I'm going to place 100% power and 40% speed. Now for the acrylic setting, select the blue color, and for the Speedy 400 120 watt laser, I will put in 50% power and 100% speed. Now select the advanced drop down menu on this color, and select the Z offset. This number will account for the height difference in the file. Measuring the walnut wood will provide this number, but since we need the laser to focus into the material, it will need to be negative. This example will be negative 0.2 inches. Now select save to save this parameter. Open the file into the Ruby prepare screen and place the file over the award using the vision design and position overhead camera shown here or use the red dot laser pointer if you do not have a camera. Select the newly created award parameter from the materials database, confirming that the color blue has the correct offset and push the file to the laser. Start the laser and engrave the award. The laser will start with the first color on the materials list, black, engraving the parameters set for that color. As soon as the black part of the file is complete, the blue color is next, and the laser will automatically change focus, compensating for the wood thickness, and focusing onto the acrylic surface. The laser will now engrave the cast acrylic, turning it bright white using the blue power parameter that we put in earlier. Once finished, open the laser and use a damp cloth to wipe the walnut residue and a dry cloth to wipe the white residue from the acrylic surface for the finished results. And there you have it, a beautifully designed laser cut walnut acrylic custom made award with precise dual height engraving. You can find the design files in the link below to create this award on your laser system. Please let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions or comments. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest laser projects, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.